Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gulnar. I am a senior software technology trainer of Eindhoven University of Technology and this is where we talk about educational, professional and personal development. This video is a part of the NGD guide and today I will show you how you can find a place to stay in the first days of your life in the Netherlands. If you are interested in Netherlands, uh, you know uh, finding a place to live in Netherlands is very difficult. When you come here, um, you need to get BSN at first or BSN number it is an identification number and with this number you can uh, open a bank account you can get host insurance if you do not have BSN you cannot uh, open a bank account and it means that you cannot get your salary in the first month either your reimbursements it is a big problem and you cannot register with a Airbnb or hotel room so you need a place a permanent place and finding a permanent place is difficult at the beginning so you have to find a solution I have a solution for this uh, and I will show you this. Currently a friend of mine stays there. It is not in Eindhoven, it is in Mierlo. It is very close to here. She allowed me to go there and uh, take a video. I'm not sure uh, she's at home right now uh, because I cannot uh, contact uh, with her recently. Uh, but uh, I hope uh, I will find her at home home uh, if i cannot find at least i can show you around uh, and uh, after seeing there i will talk to you about how you can make uh, arrangements how you can find a place to stay there what are the conditions so let's go we are going by car uh, it is about 15 20 minutes if there is not a traffic jam uh, i don't know how much it is with bus i will put it in the video after checking it and it is raining traditional dutch weather I came to see my friend. Then you need to park on the parking. Uh, uh, that way is parking very that, that way is very long and uh, I have uh, some parcel for my uh, friends. We That's can't open why. It for you if you are just a visitor, then you need to park on the parking. So we need to drive behind you and park in the parking. They said we are just a visitor, so we have to park behind us and we have to walk there and it is very far from the service point so my husband went to the service point to talk them and convince them we are just a visitor and we will enter and come back very fast <laughs> with car <laughs> I didn't understand really because last time we came here and we can easily enter the uh, the area uh, with car but even two times but now they didn't allow us it's okay I have to walk there this is very far from the service point during the rainy days here is not a good place to walk here there is somebody. These are the cheapest options in Rumpot. Last year we stayed here uh, in this kind of containers and our container was there. I don't remember the number of the container but it should be that one. Yeah, it should be that one. I think somebody is living there. <laughs> okay. My friend's container should be like those ones. Uh, 
those dark green ones but I'm not sure we will see by the way I have to show you around because you have to feel this piece the view of these trees and houses here not houses they are bungalows actually um, remind me the paintings of Bob Ross <laughs> actually her place was there but I want to show you something my god look at the view And there are some bungalows around the artificial lake. <sighs> My god, it's perfect. I have an apartment in Eindhoven, but I really would like to come and live here some weeks. But actually, last year I lived here. I stayed around three weeks here. Yeah, it was not enough for me. I still miss Merlo Rupert. Let's go. This kind of bungalows uh, should be a bit expensive. But I'm not sure about their prices after finishing this video I will check and put the prices in the comment section or the on the video I think I found should be this one Okay, this is the entrance and we entered from this door. Where is this? What's this? Okay, yeah, this is toilet. There's a small toilet here. Mm, very small. The next door is storage room, I guess. Yeah. And they provided everything you don't need to buy or bring with you. These two rooms are bedrooms. I will show you one of them. And again, they provide everything. If you want, you can also buy some... Um, bed sheets but you need to pay for that if you don't pay they don't give for two people it is quite comfortable and this is let's look at the view a cute kitchen and they provide all dishes there's a microwave there this one is refrigerator and this is the sitting area Near 
the kitchen there is another room and it is for children. Small wardrobe. And again, the view.